Let's work through some examples of multi-step syntheses of substituted benzenes. The general idea in these syntheses is to really use aromatic substitutions, either electrophilic aromatic substitution or nucleophilic aromatic substitution as the key bond-forming reactions, or in a retrosynthetic sense, the key disconnections. And functional group interchange, or FGI reactions, to modify side chains on the benzene ring to achieve reactivity or site selectivity where we need it. And this could actually be done through a couple of different approaches. We can notice, for example, that the nitro group is a meta director, and we have the alkyl substituent at the meta position. And so one idea involves first nitrating the benzene, and then using friedel crafts conditions to alkylate this nitrobenzene intermediate. One issue with this approach is that this nitrobenzene synthetic intermediate is deactivated towards electrophilic aromatic substitution pretty heavily. This is because of the electron withdrawing strength of the nitro group, which is fairly high. An alternative approach that gets around this issue to an extent makes use of friedel crafts acylation instead of alkylation. And the key thing to notice to appreciate this strategy is that although the alkyl group is an ortho para director in its form in the target, we can synthesize this ortho para directing alkyl group from the corresponding acyl group, which is a meta director because of the withdrawing nature of the carbonyl group. So if we installed the acyl group first and then nitrated and then converted the acyl group into an alkyl group, we could achieve the same synthetic result and reach the same target. In the forward direction, this means first converting benzene into this synthetic intermediate. This involves friedel crafts acylation condition. We can then nitrate this intermediate with the assurance that the nitro group will appear meta to the electron withdrawing acyl substituent. This compound is our target, we just need to reduce the carbonyl group to a CH2 group, and this can be done through either Clemenson or wolf kishner conditions. The advantage of this bottom approach is that the acyl benzene is more reactive than the nitro benzene intermediate above, but of course the downside is that this synthetic route involves more steps than the route above. And so it may not be worthwhile if we can get a good yield out of this alkylation of the nitrobenzene. For our purposes, either route gets the job done. The second example is somewhat more interesting. We're starting from toluene, but the target contains absolutely no methyl groups within it. We also see a substituent that looks unfamiliar from an electrophilic aromatic substitution perspective. How can we install the cyano group? Well, we're going to have to do it either by converting this methyl group into a cyano, which is a transformation we don't really know how to do, or by installing the cyano through some kind of substitution reaction, likely nucleophilic aromatic substitution, since cyanide anion is a pretty good nucleophile. One way to do this involves the substitution of the diazonium group and the involvement of an aryl diazonium synthetic intermediate. Treatment of the aryl diazonium with copper 1 cyanide, CuCn, gives us the cyano product. Working backwards then, we know that we can make the target from a synthetic intermediate containing the diazonium group. And for the time being, we've left the question alone of how we got the carboxylic acid. How can we install this carboxylic acid group? Well, since we have a methyl group in the starting material, one strategy involves oxidation of that alkyl group to a carboxylic acid. This is a reaction of alkyl benzenes we've seen that chews up an alkyl chain to a carboxylic acid group. In the forward direction, then, we can convert toluene directly to benzoic acid through these oxidation conditions, which involve KMNO4, KOH, and heat. The nice thing about doing this in the first stage is that this installs a meta director on the benzene. So we can substitute the meta position selectively, which is what we need in the target. What do we want to substitute with? Well, something that we can eventually convert into a diazonium group. We can't substitute the diazonium group directly onto the ring. We have to use an indirect approach that involves nitration first, followed by reduction to an amine, and finally diazonium formation through the use of nitrous acid. A treatment of this diazonium with copper 1 cyanide gives the desired target. So if I clear away some of the extra things we drew here, the overall synthetic sequence here shows us that oxidation of the methyl group to a carboxylic acid was key. This installed a meta director that allowed us to install ultimately a diazonium group meta to the carboxylic acid, which could be substituted with the cyano group through a nucleophilic aromatic substitution reaction. 
One point that this synthesis makes is that order of events is important. It turned out to be critical for us to convert the methyl group into a meta director before installing the diazonium group and substituting. If we hadn't done this and had waited to do the oxidation until the end of the synthesis, we would have ended up with the wrong substitution pattern, with the cyano group showing up either at the ortho or para position rather than at the meta position. Installing a meta director early in the synthesis was key. In this final example, we have this intriguing situation where three groups that direct ortho para are oriented meta to one another in the desired target. This seems like an impossible situation to achieve, and by direct substitution of benzene, it is not possible. If we install, for example, a chlorine to make chlorobenzene, that's going to direct ortho para, preventing meta substitution, which is what we want. We can get any two of these groups on in a meta relationship, provided we can work backwards to a synthetic intermediate containing a meta-directing group. And the chlorines look like good candidates since we can simply halogenate with two equivalents of chlorine in order to install those in a meta-relationship. So in an abstract sense, what we'd like to work backwards to is an intermediate with a meta-directing group here and the two chlorines located meta to that. This can be synthesized then from a starting material that just has that meta-directing group just using two equivalents of Cl2 and AlCl3. Then assuming we can install that meta-directing group through some kind of electrophilic aromatic substitution, then we can work backwards to benzene. And so really the key to this entire synthesis is the conversion of this meta-directing group into an OH group in the final one or two steps of the synthesis. We actually know how to do this, taking advantage of functional groups involving nitrogen connected to the aromatic ring. So I'm going to erase the retrosynthetic analysis so that we can now think through this in the forward direction, leaving this note that we have to install a meta-directing group and then ultimately convert that into the ortho directing hydroxyl group at the end of the synthesis. A sequence that's worth keeping in mind when you need to do something like this involves first nitrating, installing the, the NO2 group, reducing to form an NH2 group, and then forming a diazonium group using nitrous acid. What this allows you to do is direct substitution meta to the nitro group after installing it, and then reduce it and convert it to a diazonium group so that you can substitute the diazonium group for a variety of other functional groups using nucleophilic aromatic substitution. In this particular case, we can use nucleophilic aromatic substitution to replace the N2 plus group with an OH group, and that's what we're looking for in the target. So let's see how this works in the forward direction. In the first step, we nitrate using HNO3 and sulfuric acid. At this point, we have the meta-directing group that we need, and so we can use Cl2 and AlCl3 in order to install both chlorine. I'll skip over the aniline intermediate, since all we're going to do to that is convert it to a diazonium group. What we need to do is first reduce the nitro group to an aniline using 10 and HCl, and then diazotize it using nitrous acid, HONO, or the combination of sodium nitrite, NaNO2, and sulfuric acid. This gets us to the diazonium intermediate shown here, and to convert this to the target, all we need to do is substitute the diazonium group for an OH group, and this can be done by simply treating the diazonium salt with water. 